we coordinate complex events to go from single cells and material environments to forming organoids or organ tissues that perform complex functions. There's a tremendous need also from the perspective of people that are waiting for organs. The organ donor list in the U.S. alone has over 100,000 people and roughly 100,000 of them are waiting for a kidney transplant. To me, therapeutic organ engineering means that um, you're trying to design new therapies to treat tissues in the body that are somehow diseased or not functioning well. That can take many approaches. It could be a biomaterial, it could be a cell, it could be a drug. Essentially any way we can prevent destruction, damage, and help rebuild uh, tissues in the body. Therapeutic organ engineering for me denotes the ability to actually design a construct to attach biologics to that and to attempt to regenerate a specific organ or tissue to mitigate a clinical condition. And the idea here is really to build organs, not, not just tissues, but vascularized organs. Of all the things that we need to build in engineering whole tissues, we think that the vasculature is probably one of the hardest and yet most critical parts of being able to build large organs. Uh, the vasculature is sort of the common bus that provides nutrients and uh, exchange of, of oxygen, etc., throughout the body. How do we vascularize the tissues in the lab and in the body without having to harvest vascular beds from other parts? of the body in the patient. But if we can introduce vasculature within these organoids, we then have a hope of not only perfusing them directly, but also ultimately coupling them in with our printed architectures. With many different tissue types, you see a very direct correlation between the architecture and the function. It's because of this that, that we've been very interested in using different types of biofabrication technologies to be able to take um, materials and then try to d develop ways of bottom-up assembly of these building blocks to generate complexity of tissues. Now, one of the challenges in the concept of cell therapies as we're thinking about tissues and organs is to enable these cells to be able to organize themselves into higher order structures that have specific and desired functionalities. It's a roadmap of where we're going in bioprinting. We think that it's a combination of bioprinting with self-assembly that's really gonna drive this field to allow us to, to really hit all of the key points, the composition, the structural complexity, the function, and the scale that's needed. So our long goal has been to, to build a heart and this has been manifest in a variety of different projects over the years, from building single cells, to building two-dimensional tissues and organs on chips, to building three-dimensional, uh, pseudo-three-dimensional pumps, and trying to build uh, you know, a heart valve so that we can get pressure volume regulation. Connective tissues really rely on their extracellular matrix constituents for their mechanical function. If we took human cells from young, relatively healthy people, then in fact we could coax those cells to, to attach to the mesh and replicate and secrete a lot of extracellular matrix and make a mechanically strong tissue. So we can seed them into a bioreactor, grow an engineered artery, and then as a final step, we would decellularize that artery in order to render it non-immunogenic. In biology, we are really getting very good at manipulating molecules and cells, but we're actually a long way from understanding how to control uh, function and large-scale uh, anatomy. So the question is, uh, could we move biology to really address anatomical decision-making? This is a tremendously powerful notion. The only way to get there in an effective way is to understand the shortest path of what needs to be done to, to actually get to patients in an effective way. And that requires interacting with industry, it requires interacting with clinicians, it requires choosing the right animal systems, it requires bringing the right types of people together. The people who are here are leaders in their you know, respective disciplines and are bringing actually collectively thoughts into probably setting the guidelines for how this field will develop in the future.
Thank <laughs> you.